Hello everyone, this is Viren and welcome to the Fantasy Match Preview for Qualifier 2, the game to be played between Rajasthan and Bangalore. Now before that, keep in mind that the Depositors giveaway is live on the fan to play app but only till 29th May. So ensure that you make that big deposit and use the code giveaway because you can win the prizes like the Bullet, the Activa as well as a OnePlus phone and a few other gadgets. And the best part, you can see your rank all the way through on the app. So ensure that you make full use of this and you also get a 5% real cash extra deposit straight in your account as soon as you make that deposit. So go make use of it. Apart from that, also remember to make 25 teams because these are the last two games where you can seize the advantage on the fan to play leaderboard and win that big 2 lakh prize. So first up, the keepers and the batters. I'm going with two keepers, Sanju Samson and Joss Butler. The kind of form both of them are showing, it's kind of impossible to leave either. But Josh Hazelwood with that extra pace can trouble. And yes, there's that big matchup between Samson and Hasaranga where Samson has been dismissed multiple times by him. So will that happen again? We don't know, but it did happen in that last game as well. While Butler might be a little bit troubled by Hazelwood, but no real numbers to tell you that. And then you look at the three batters, Virat, who is finally looking in that good touch. So I think we keep persisting with him. Second pick would be Faf Duplessis, who again has a matchup against Trent Bolt. Not a great strike rate and he's been dismissed six times by left arm pace in this season itself. So I think that will be crucial. If he plays him out, then he can play big, else there's another dismissal. And the last pick, Yashasvi Jaiswal, this is slightly risky. Because again, that extra uh, bounce of Hazelwood can trouble him. But we know at Ahmedabad that once a batsman sets in, he can have a really good time out there. So I think the crucial part for most of these batters is if they play out the first three or four overs, then the world is at their feet. But if you feel that there's extra grass or there's some extra help that their bowlers can get out of this pitch, then you might be able to leave a few openers and go in with the middle order batters because you have some great options in Hetmaya, Partizar. So I think that will make it up for you. Now we look at the all-rounders and the bowlers for this game. This section is a little more obvious. Glenn Maxwell, my captain, he's batting, he's bowling. So I'm not going to explain that one. Second pick would be Ashwin. Again, he's batting at seven. He's also bowling some crucial overs. Didn't get wickets in the last game, but I think that's going to come sooner rather than later. Then you look at four bowlers. I'm look go going with Trent Bolt for sure because of that positive matchup that he has and has been bowling well off late. And the other three bowlers, Harshal Patel, who's been the wicket machine that he always is, especially in the death, so that makes him really good. Josh Hazelwood, who's getting wickets at the start and at the death, he's really built on that death bowling, especially with the kind of line and line that he bowls, so you can't ask for more. And the last pick, Hasaranga, who's been doing well with the ball. Now, here there is a toss up between Hasaranga and Chahal. Based on who bowls second, I will make that choice. Also, if you feel like the pitch is going to be slow and dusty, then you can leave one of the air paces for Chahal too. This is what the team for today looks like then with two keepers, three batsmen, two all rounders, and four bowlers. So, let's get to it. And last but not the least, we have the challenge picks for this game and I'm going with two challenge picks simply, Glenn Maxwell and Joss Butler. Let's not complicate it because there are enough risks being taken by the teams itself. So I think this should make it easier for you. And you have a giveaway code for this game. The code is RRF2P. So remember to use that giveaway code and make full use of it. Join the free entry, join the Grand League and make full use of all these offers that you get through the end of the season. And join us on the Telegram channel for your final team, second innings updates and lots more. All the good luck to you.